Hello, students, and welcome to Thermal Energy 2.3. Boy, it's been a long time since I've made one of these videos. Um, and uh, I didn't have a 2.3 for thermal energy, so here, here it is. Um, analyzing evidence and evaluating claims. Let's go ahead and take a look at our warm-up here. I've got my instructional guide up. Um, <clears throat> so today you will investigate two claims about why molecules change speed first. Look at the claims below and decide which one you think is more likely to be correct. Then open the sim and begin exploring. Gather and record evidence that will help you choose between the claims. You will have more time to record evidence later in this lesson. So why do molecules change speed? That's the main question. Why do molecules change speed? We've talked about um, temperature being a measure of the average kinetic energy of a thing. And uh, kinetic energy has to do with the speed of the molecules. Okay, so if something changes temperature, that means it's uh, molecules are changing speed. So why would molecules change speed? Claim number one, molecules speed up when energy is created and slow down when energy is destroyed. I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty fishy. Uh, claim two, molecules speed up when they get energy from other molecules and slow down when they give energy to other molecules. Well, that just sounds nice. It is the season of, of giving and getting uh, I'm going to, I don't know, my money's already on claim number two. Um, once you have chosen a claim, launch the thermal energy simulation and begin gathering evidence in the sim. Um, let's go ahead and launch that thing. Uh, and how are you even going to gather evidence? Can you even see this? I don't think you can even see this window. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not going to launch it. You can launch it, gather evidence, and then, uh, write down right here. What did you notice? What evidence did you gather about the claims? I'm so curious to uh, hear the evidence that you gathered. Um, next thing we're going to do is jump into the sim again. Uh, but now we have something that we're supposed to actually do. Now we have some directions. Um, so again, here's our claims. Uh, mo molecules speed up when energy is created, slow down when energy is destroyed. Or molecules speed up when they get energy from other molecules and slow down when they give energy to other molecules. It says launch the sim on a partner's device. You don't you don't have to do this with a partner. You can do this on your own. Um, they just want you to have the instructions on one and then the sim on the other. It's just easier that way. Add two samples of the same size, whatever size you want, as long as they're the same. And then in the run mode, press view kinetic energy toggle. That's one at the top um, that makes them go yellow and <clears throat> colorless. Press the plus and minus buttons, add or remove energy so that one sample is warmer and the other one is colder. Uh, so yeah, just make sure one's warmer, one's colder, and then put them together. Open analyze. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, number five it also says observe. And then open analyze, replay the sim. You know you can play the sim in analyze. Did you know that? Uh, and observe what happens on the graph after the two samples are dragged together. Build on any evidence you observed during the warm-up and complete the sentence at the bottom. So this is just kind of more directed, uh, helping you to see the evidence that they want you to see uh, that will support one of the claims. So go ahead and do that. Uh, and then the evidence I gathered supports which one? Claim one, claim two, or claim both? Go and do that right now. I don't know if I paused my video or unpaused it in the right spot. <laughs> hey, anyways, we're on tab three. Um, on tab three, they want you to find some more evidence, but they want you to go back to our uh, air conditioning article that we read uh, just yesterday. Um, it says, continue to gather evidence about the two claims by rereading a portion of the article, How Air Conditioners Make Cities Hotter. Start at, here we go, the fifth paragraph, which begins, this kind of energy doesn't just apply to buildings, blah, blah, blah. And then stop after the seventh paragraph, okay? Uh, use the evidence you gathered from the text to complete the sentence below. Why do molecules change speed? What sentence below? Oh, here we go. Uh, what evidence did you gather? So does it support one of those claims or the other or both? And then the evidence I gathered supports which one. So read that part of the article. Again, just starting at paragraph five through seven. And uh, what do you find? What do you find? Tab four. Hey, you're supposed to take this poll, um, which obviously it's kind of hard to do if we're not here together. Um, but anyways, go ahead and click whichever one. And uh, we're supposed to look at all of the evidence that we uh, gathered, and it should be leading us to claim two. And here's a big part of claim two, this keyword right here, collision. The moment when two objects hit each other, and apparently we're using some <laughs> interesting looking baseball player. Um, 
and that's what that's what it's all about the collision moment because when those molecules collide the faster molecule is going to transfer energy to the slower molecule um, and the faster molecule slows down the slower molecule speeds up because it got more energy and so the faster molecule we would say that's the hotter thing right the slower molecule that's the colder thing well now the hotter thing is a little bit colder and the uh, slower thing is a little bit warmer uh, because it has more of that kinetic energy so that's really where they're leading you to here uh, again it's energy is not created energy is not destroyed um, it's just transferred. And we've talked about this the other day when we first read the air conditioner article. It just goes from one place to another. Uh, it can be transformed also from one uh, type of energy into another type of energy. But uh, there's no getting rid of it. It's there. And if you know something cools off, that means something else somewhere else warmed up. If something warms up, that means something else somewhere cooled off. Um, so yeah, that's again uh, the main idea there. Uh, another a vocabulary term which we used transfer to move from one object to another or one place to another and that's of course talking about energy energy transferring from one molecule a faster moving molecule to a slower moving molecule hey one of those key uh, uh phrases from the article said that um energy is always transferring from the warmer thing to the colder thing i'm paraphrasing but that's what it said, always from the higher energy thing to the lower energy thing. That's always the direction that energy is going to transfer. Um, there is no like cold energy coming from the cold thing. There's no heat molecules uh, transferring anywhere. It's, it's energy transferring from the higher energy thing to the lower energy thing. Uh, there you go. Hey, the homework. I really like this homework um, for so many reasons. Number one is about freeze rays. And uh, it says Kalani and Lael are students who have been asked to explain why freeze ray guns can't shoot cold at people. Read and compare their arguments, then answer the questions below. Which makes me think, how could we develop some sort of freeze ray gun? Because it's true, you can't shoot cold at someone. But is there some way to take the energy uh, uh, from something at some distance away from you. I, I want I want to know now. Um, Kalani's argument, a freeze ray cannot shoot cold because cold can't be transferred from one thing to another. Only energy can transfer. Hey, Kalani, you're not wrong. Um, but that's not the point, is it? We're supposed to say who has a better argument. Lael's argument says, a freeze ray cannot shoot cold because cold is not an object. It is a description of an object whose molecules have small amount of kinetic energy. Sounds pretty smart. Uh, in order to make something colder, kinetic energy has to be transferred out of it. Energy always transfers from the warmer thing to the colder thing. Hey, I said that. I said that. Um, so you would have to put an even colder thing next to the person you were shooting. I like this verbiage of shooting. So the kinetic energy would transfer out. All right. Which argument is more convincing? I hope you said Lael's, and I hope you didn't say because it's longer, um, but something else. And that's what I want you to put right there. Which argument is more convincing and why? And this is great, too, because sometimes uh, you give me answers that sound a lot like Kalani's on your end of unit assessment. Um, and we forget some of those details. Uh, so, hey, uh, test taking 101. Don't assume that I know what you're talking about. Does that make sense? Because um, I'm not going to assume that you know what you're talking about. You have to prove that you know what you're talking about. And uh, Lael definitely did that. Lael gave us a lot of um, not just evidence, but reasoning and some background. Um, whereas Kalani, again, Kalani's not wrong, but we need more there. Uh, always imagine Mr. Wigan standing over your shoulder saying, eh, tell me more about that. What do you mean by that? Uh, you wrote this, but what does that what does that mean tell me more um anyways hey that's it uh you are done congratulations uh 2.3